Well, here's the new future sawmill that I mentioned in one of the previous videos. It's a bandsaw. Now I'll have to do a little bit of customization to the bandsaw itself before it's going to be ready to go. And what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to separate it right here. Basically cut it and I'm going to put an extension. I'm going to extend it. And the reason why I'm going to extend it is because it's not really that big of a mouth from the bottom to the top portion of it for a large log to be put in there to cut the lumber. So I want to extend that so that mouth is much, much more wider. You can see here is maybe, oh, it's about 12 inches or so. I want a little bit more than that. I'm not exactly sure yet. I'm going to study it out a little more and come up with a, a solution. Now the bottom base, you can see here, will be removed completely. It's not needed. This is a pretty old saw. It's an Oliver. Very heavy. This saw here, um, it weighs around a 400 pound mark. Very well built. That's going to be the future sawmill for cutting my lumber when I need some lumber. You can see the motor here, it's a direct drive, which I'll be changing that out. So there's quite a bit a little bit of quite a bit of work to do to convert it before it's gonna be actually ready to go. But that's okay. Time will solve that part. And the know-how will solve just about uh, all the other parts. So that's what I'm going to use in that previous video that I had talked about a sawmill I was going to make. So I'm not too sure if I'm going to actually make videos on making the sawmill itself, the lumber cutter. I may, may not, just uh, undecided yet. Well, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not, and thank you very much for those that have.